What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday and we have got another epic pack. We've got Beckham who is here as his prime version and you would say that this Beckham is going to have pretty much the best crossing game in the game. Now that's going to remain to be seen because I do think that the crossing has changed quite a bit. We'll talk about that in the live stream in a little bit. We're going to be streaming later on as well. But we also have Frank Lampard, a prime Frank Lampard as well. So it is going to be interesting to see how these guys operate and how these guys play. Lampard looks insane, lads. He looks way better than I thought he was going to look. He's got Blitz Curler as well. That's a very interesting choice of skill for Lampard. I would have thought that he would have had like phenomenal finish it or something like that. We know Frankie used to score a lot of goals, but yeah, I mean, it looks like an insane card, lads. Even his levels and the fact that he's got some brilliant skills and stats. And then, of course, we have Gilberto Silva. He probably looks the best player model in the game, but I think that he's going to be competing with the likes of Vieira, Rijkaard, and a couple of others there as well, Rodri, Zakaria, a couple of other those Showtime boys. So that's going to be a more difficult card to recommend, I suppose. But yeah, it's a very nice pack, in fairness. It's a, it's a kind of a nice pack. Now, we are over here on OC's account, and we're going to go in here and show you the builds that we have in the English League. We will be streaming in just a little bit with the English League players in the clubs here, and we'll have the three. So OC actually spun. He had to go pretty deep for him, but we will be playing a little bit of gameplay on the live stream later, right? So I think if you're setting up with Gilberto Silva, he is down as an anchorman. If you're going for that kind of like anchorman orchestrator or anchorman destroyer type midfield partnership and just keep it even a little bit wide, you can change a couple of bits and pieces. You could go Lampard into the center. That's probably where I would go with Frankie uh, Lampard. You know, I'm not going to tra trade him too much for what he's good at doing, but it just depends on how you like to play him. I like having a central figure, like an attacking midfielder, right? But we're just going to show you three really quick builds of how, how powerful these guys can get, right? So 68 levels, or 35 levels with 68 progression points. This is the build that we went for with Silva here. A very simple build. So we're just going to pretty much get as many stats to 90 or plus the 90 mark as possible, right? We're not going to worry too much about his passing. He's our anchorman. He's our blocker. He's not our creator. So we've 90 type possession, 91 heading, 96 awareness, 96 tackle, 90 aggression, 97 defensive engagement. And then that all important to 85 speed and 90 plus jumping and physical contact with huge stamina. Acceleration even at 80 as well. Now, if you're throwing a booster on him, I would say that you could actually put a shutdown booster on him as well if you wanted to add that. That would mean that you could take one off speed and of course you could add it somewhere else if you wanted to bring up his passing. Or you could put agility on, take one from speed and acceleration and then do the same thing as I just said there. But that is Gilberto Silva. We do have Beckham as well. Now if you're playing Beckham, I definitely think you need to play him as a right midfielder. He's not silky enough for a right winger, lads, in my opinion. But this is the build for Bex, right? We're not going to worry too much about his skills or anything like that, right? Obviously, double touch will be nice. If you are playing a defensive build of him, you can see OC is giving him interception and blocker here. This is largely going to depend on what type of player you want out of Beckham. Because he's got huge stamina, and every other version of Beckham, lads, is genuinely, they're always able to intercept the ball. So this guy is going to be no different. But I think this attack and build is insane. 90 dribbling, 90 tight possession, 91 low pass, 95 lofted, 85 finishing, 99 curl. And of course, we've got 89 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 kick and power, and 89 balance there as well. Now, we don't have the 90 balance because we have the Fantasista, I would potentially, if you're looking at doing something a little bit different, right, and you want to get him to that 90 speed, that 90 balance, which I think will make a bit of a difference on this card, you could give him the agility booster and just kind of like, yeah, like just have his, his finishing a little bit lower. I think Beckham is not really a shoot shooting type of player. Like if we wanted to go that route with him, right, we could actually get that with him if we take his shooting away with this build even with the fantasista and we're going to have sorry we're not going to have it into dexterity sorry boys we're going to have it into lower body and we're still going to have that one into shooting there we'll still have 80 plus finishing but we will have 90 plus acceleration it's just about that balance getting it up to that zone because we're getting that booster but you know if you have agility plus one that will do the same job for you and then last but not least we have frank now i want to talk about frank lampard in a little bit more detail because this guy, lads, is definitely, definitely one of the best cards that they've released of Lampard and as an attacking midfielder or a centre midfielder. He's down as a whole player. He's got weak foot usage rarely, but very high accuracy. He's on wavering form. He's got blitz curler, long range curler, long range shooting, first time shot, true passing, outside curler, one touch pass and low lofted pass. Now, if you, if you guys don't shoot a lot, Lampard is not going to be a really good player for you, right? And even with this build here, we're going to kind of make him kind of slightly different than a lot of people might make him but it's going to be more built around his pure stats right and his pure strengths 
So this is the build that we would probably settle on as a, you know, whole player, shoot first, attack a midfielder, right? If you're playing him through the center. If you're playing him a little bit left, you'll, you'll need a bit bigger stamina, but this is definitely good enough to cover all positions, right? 99 attacking awareness, 90 tight possession, 90 low pass, 92 finishing and 90 curl. So you've got your blitz curler backed up by brilliant finishing and curl stats. 86 speed, 93 acceleration, but the key on this build, lads, for me, is the 91 kick and power and 90 balance. You've got tight possession, acceleration, kick and power balance, and finishing all over 90, as well as curl. This card is going to be insane if you play him through the center. I think playing him in this role here, kind of like a kind of a late to arrive to the party striker. That is how I would play him. If you're playing him a little bit out here into this formation here, I would probably sacrifice a little bit of his balance just because you're not going to be bringing it into that much of attacking areas. You know, you're going to be a little bit more out wide. You could get by with 85 balance if you really wanted to. You still have your acceleration at 90 and your attacking awareness at 96. I'm a big fan of having balance at 90, especially when a player has got lower physical contact. But if you want to do this, you could just boost up his lower body strength if you want to make him a little bit more of a monster. And also, if you want to throw in one or two to his defensive, you can get his aggression to nearly 64 or 74, 75. But that would be a 90 speed build there of those boys. So yeah, it's very interesting. Agility plus one on him there as well. And I definitely think giving him a little bit of additional skills, such as knuckle shot, you could give him a couple of more other ones there as well. He has pretty much all that you wanted. Maybe weighted pass would be good in him as well. But let me know if you spun from. We'll be testing out these players in just a couple of minutes on the live stream. Until then, talk to you in a bit.